Hey everyone, before the title confuses you, let me get everything straight. This game is not bad. I actually love it and I would give it probably an 8.5 or more out of 10 and I'm loving it, I'm loving the experience and it's actually a fantastically made, well made game. So don't dislike the video just because of the title. Um, I do want to talk to you guys about a few of the things that I do dislike about the game that I really do th that I think really do bring it down Just so you know the gameplay in the background is just a random race. I, I did it's nothing special So I'm not trying to show off or anything um, So my first complaint, I guess I'll start with a little bit of background as to why this is a big deal Number one, I bought the game the day it came out that cost me $65 Canadian then I also bought the Season Pass, which cost me 4,000 Microsoft points, almost $80 Canadian. So at that moment, I have like over, almost $140, over $140 into the game. And I still cannot drive cars unless I buy them in the actual, you know, game. So to me, it's kind of stupid that I, I paid all that money to get the game. Then I paid all that money to get all the DLC. And now if I ever want to use the DLC cars, I have to use my in-game credits to test drive them. I understand I won't have them in my garage unless I buy them, but I can't even use them online or use them in a, a fake uh, online CPU versus CPU race. And that to me is a little ridiculous. The goal, I, I bet, I know for them the goal is to obviously make money. They're a game developer. But I feel like they should let me test drive the car how they did in Forza 4 where you could just run races with it online. And obviously you couldn't use it in career unless you did buy it. And I, I guess the goal for them is to have more people buy car tokens. And car tokens are like in-game currency where you can just buy some tokens using Microsoft points and you can trade those in directly for purchase, uh, towards purchase of vehicles. And you know what? I bought the season pass the day before the game came out and uh, I spent a lot of money on it. I assumed I'd be able to drive all the cars from the DLC um, in like a kind of like a fun mode, test driving them. And I was disappointed to find out that the only way I can drive them is if I buy them in career or if I share them in a car club with some, if someone else shares them in a car club that I am in. Um, unfortunately, I'm trying to bring you guys reviews of the DLC cars, but I'm finding it really hard to do that because all the cars I want to review are over $2 million. Uh, of in-game credits. So right now I'm at uh, 1.6 million credits on screen. I'm only at like 850 because I recorded this earlier today But I am almost at um, That amount of credits and all I really want to do is be able to drive this car that you guys see right here the Ferrari uh, 599xx uh, Evolu Evoluzione and this car is so nice looking that's all i want to be able to do is drive this car around talk to you guys about it show you guys it it's uh one of the dlc cars so honestly that is my biggest pet peeve of this entire game i want to be able to love it um but it just pains me to think that i would have to pay an additional five dollars just to have this car in my garage if i wanted to buy it with real life money and not just like you know earn it uh regularly with uh, credits so it pains me to say that that really 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 brings down this game for me it's going to be really hard for me to review or uh, show any gameplay of the dlc cars i mean this car is 2.6 million credits i'm going to be playing the game 10 hours and i'm gonna have to spend all my money on it um so that's a little bit of a hurdle. I've tried contacting Playground Games. They didn't get back to me, which I wasn't surprised. But um, I want to know if you guys agree with me. Is it a little crazy that they're expecting us to pay, you know, $65 for the game plus another, you know, $80 or whatever it is for your currency exchange to get all the DLC? And then they expect you to either use all your in-game credits or pay $5 of cash money just to test drive a car uh, for fun. That's all I want to do. You can't use them online. You can't do anything with them. It just kind of sucks. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the sections below. Uh, I'm also going to touch up on a few quick small points that bring down the game for me. Keep in mind, I do still love this game. It's so fun. Although I still uh, do stick next to my statement that I made in my demo preview. This is an arcade game, not a simulation. All the dislikers, all the haters, 
can suck on it because if you actually play this game, it is not realistic. Your car flies like an airplane. You can do backflips. You get rewarded for drifting and uh, cutting off traffic. So no, this game is not Forza 4. It might feel a little bit like Forza 4, but it's not meant to be a simulation racer. So I was right, you were wrong. Anyways, another thing I kind of dislike is the fast travel cost you $10,000, which is kind of stupid because if you're trying to run a race all the way across the map, you're paying $10,000 to get there if you don't want to drive there for like 15 minutes. And the race is only going to get you like 20,000 credits. So you're wasting half your money just to get there. Um, but otherwise, I, I do like the fact that you can sell the cars you win in the showcase events. That's really nice to have as opposed to having them worth $100 if you don't want them. Um, and otherwise, I do really, really love this game. I don't really have many other complaints. Um, one mini thing, I guess you could say, is the fact that you have to go... every If you want to, let's say, paint your car... Let's say you want to buy a new car, paint your car, uh, tune your car. Well, not really tune, just buy parts for your car because you can't tune in the game. And uh, then you want to go see some cars on the marketplace. You effectively have to go through five to ten loading screens. You have to load into your garage, load out of your garage, load into your paint shop, load out of your paint shop. It's a lot of loading. It's a lot of time wasted. I kind of wish you could all do that from one menu, but you can't. That's just part of the game. They want you to visit all the individual shops available in the uh, downtown horizon area anyways i'm gonna go that's my rant i uh, will be bringing you guys some dlc cars that uh, ferrari it is my goal to have a video for you guys within a week of that car and um i'm gonna probably have to sell a lot of the dlc cars once i do make the videos because there's just not enough money to go around thanks for watching guys i hope you did enjoy the video make sure to like comment subscribe like i always say make sure you have a really good day and follow me on facebook and Twitter, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.